you don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong, or maybe you just get lucky. Shit. No, no, it's not what it looks like, I swear. I... I wasn't going to hurt you, I... I just needed... well... blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire, a slave to sanguine hunger. I've never killed anyone. Well, not for food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds, whatever I can get. But it's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so... weak. If I just had a little blood, I could think clearer, fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you. And your companion's mind unfolds, secrets half revealed. At best, I was sure you'd say no. More likely, you'd ram a stake through my ribs. No. I needed you to trust me. And you can trust me. Thank you. Do you think you could trust me just a little further? I only need a taste. I swear. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable, shall we? It's like a shard of ice into your neck, a quick, sharp pain that fades to throbbing numbness. Your breath catches, your pulse quickens. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. You can hear how weak your voice is. So can he. But he doesn't care. He's long past caring. You feel a little cold. But that's all. There's no more pain, no more fear, no more struggle. It's all over. Something terrible's happened. What am I to do? Uh, sorry, darling. I haven't got time for underlings. If your boss wants to speak to me, I'm all pointy ears. <laughs> 